Welcome back, friends. And、um, today we'll continue with our shape drawing business.、Um, this time,、uh, let me explain how to draw a circle in Xcode. Okay, it works like that. So to draw a circle, we need to define the right our center point. Center. Yeah. You don't need to draw th those two lines in Xcode. Yeah, this is just how I ex、uh, express the center of the circle or arc. Okay, so with a with a center, right? For example, one hundred and two、uh, hundred. Just a a point, a CG point on the screen. Okay, then we need to provide the radius, right? How big is the circle? For example, is is this big? Okay, and then start angle and end angle. So let me use a different color to draw it. Start angle. So starting from the arc center or circle center, the east. Is zero. We don't use degree. We use radians. Radians. So the full circle is two pi. Instead of three hundred and sixty degrees, radians. All right. We use that, and not, not degrees. Not degrees. So be careful. If you put the degrees, the compiler doesn't complain. Okay. So no. Yeah. So the full circle for radians is two pi. The pi is just the three point one four, right? That's same as three hundred sixty degrees. Okay, so <clears throat> this is our radius. We need to provide that right to the x code. So. Another parameter is clockwise or counterclockwise. So true for con、uh, clockwise. So you will go like that. Clockwise, you will draw the full circle like that. And here. So, so this is the circle, right? Okay. So. That's all about the theory. Let's go to Xcode.、Um, let's run it. So last time we already put a simple circle there.、Uh, Command R, run it. Check the the thing. Okay, so it's here. So the center is four hundred and six hundred. So let's move it to, for example, two hundred. Right. And Y, move up a little bit, five hundred radius. Let's make it bigger, one hundred. Okay, start angle zero, end angle two pi, right? Two pi. Clockwise. Okay, let's check. Nice, it's there. Okay, so to meet the、uh, source code in the book, right? In the book, we have a book.、Uh, the link is in the description of this、uh, video. So to meet the source code there, we put、uh, we we can fill with a color, right? UI color dot.、Uh, we use the yellow here. Set fill, then circle dot fill. Yeah, and we can change its. Circle. Dot line with seven. Yeah. 
clean up a little bit. Command R to run it. You see, very nice, right? And uh, yeah, uh, we can use any name uh, for this variable. Uh, okay, but uh, it's lead, so it's, it's also called constant because we never change it. Um, let me show you one way to rename these things, okay? So hold on, command key, click. There's a rename here, rename. Select that, okay? We can change it to path, right? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so there are many parameters here. So if you want to put an each one right on a single line, we can do that and uh, do that like that. So for beginner, yeah, it helps right to see those like one. Um, one two three four five five parameters if you want to yeah so this one is the arc center radius is a straightforward start angle and angle okay two pi clockwise so if you want to read some documents about that you can hold on option key and click this guy you see it's like that, right? Discussion here. Okay. Can we do like this? Option key, click. Yes. Now we can see all the explanation about the parameters, the center, radius, right here. Yeah, all the parameters. Yeah. Cool. So let's move on to draw some arcs, not complete uh, circle. Okay. So function draw arcs we don't need the parameter here do that click back here so okay so don't forget to call it from here draw arcs okay the first arc we'll draw is oh Let's set the color UI color dot black dot set feel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is for we'll draw a little dot to mark the center of all our arcs. Okay, so UI Bazier pass. Arc center, so enter opening parentheses x that enter. Okay, so let's put the here 416 radius, a small dot. So 5 start angle 0 and angle 2 pi cg float dot pi. Yeah, this doesn't matter because we're fill. Uh, oh, uh, this time we don't create a constant for that. Like there's a not, it's not like that. There, like that, right? We don't have that. We just create an object. We just call the object. Then we can use this object directly. So dot feel. Okay, let's see. Run it. Nice dot here. The dot is here, okay. So next, let's draw an arc around this 
this center, okay? The, uh, the center marked by the little black dot, okay? So this time we'll change color. So the, oh, we'll use a different way, color literal. Color literal dot set stroke set stroke okay so let's use a uh, red color like that okay so UI Brazil pass arc center enter opening parenthesis X enter so yeah okay so it's still 400 and uh, 600 right because we will draw the arc around that oh this time so make it bigger 100 start angle zero we'll investigate right how the arc goes around the, yeah around the center from start angle to the end angle so what about this one um Let's do 0 0.2 pi, okay? Dot pi. Yeah? Clockwise? Yes. So this time, let's do dot stroke. Okay? Let's see. A tiny. <laughs> Very thin, right? The arc is here. Okay. So we can make a copy of that for the next arc, right? Let's increase this one to four. Okay, so, oh, we need to increase the radius, right? Otherwise, it will cover the previous uh, arc. Run it. Yeah, the second one is here. The second one is here okay so if we draw the third one then it will be outside the yeah this uh, origin view we can make it bigger so go to the main storyboard right so drag this guy to down for example here maybe too much but it doesn't matter run it yeah, there's more room here. So let's go back. We can click this this icon here to go back. Yeah, here or we can click uh, yeah canvas view file. Let's use this. Okay, now let me make uh, another one. Copy, paste. So increase the radius to 200 and uh, increase the up ah, right here run again nice okay another one so 200 for the radius this time 0 0.8 okay run again So now let's change. Let's play with this guy, okay? Clockwise. So do you think if we change force, right? Change it to force, it will go like that from here to here? No. I think it's not that. Let's play with that. Counter clockwise, you see? So the start angle is here, right? The end angle is 0 0.2 pi. So counter clockwise, it actually goes that, this way. So the arc is like that. And uh, another trick is we can move we can oh okay so now that's great because now we'll add more lines using this one so that's add um, arc equals that so we'll cut this 
So arc dot stroke, right? This is same. Run it. It's same. So how can we connect this and that? Do we need to draw the line like that? Draw move to or add line to? We only need to add line to here and close this opening. Okay. So let's see arc dot move to point. Let's just use the center so we can create a big sector like that. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Arc. Mm. UI Bazir pass move to stroke. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry about that. It should be add line to. Right? Yeah, it makes sense. This one, we already have this arc right here. Then from here, you add line to that. Okay. We don't need to lift the pen pencil. So yeah, see, cool. And we can close like that. Right, a big sector. So we start. Mm. Okay. We can fill it with some color we like. Okay, so it's like. Mm. Let's do it here. So arc dot fill. What is the last color we use? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, black. Okay. Um, let's make the line a little bit thicker. Arc dot line width equals. What about three? Okay. Cool. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.